Hey guys, what's up? It's Banana Crew, and we game. Game. It's Wigwam. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. It's Hippie. It's Kelly. <laughs> How am I supposed to fit Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Hippie on one little th intro title? Don't worry about it. You'll figure yourself you'll, out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> don't say don't worry about it. What what you mean is I'm not gonna worry about it. You're Wigwam gonna worry will about take it. care of it. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Oh my god, this boss is It's actually kind of easy, because all I cool. have to do is sit in a corner and just point my I'm gun dead. at it. Yeah, I like, can't get to this puss ball piece of crap. Well, you know. This I'm gonna s not grab all of those. This boss now reminds me of, uh... Whoop, whoop. Of, like, uh, what is it? Oh, stuttering speech. No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this boss reminds me of the boss from Zelda and Jabba Jabba's Belly. Oh, yes! A little spinny around thing. Just something about the visuals, but... And also, it's a the world's lamest transformer. Like, if Definitely. there were mentally handicapped transformers, this would be one of them. <laughs> just, like, I'm not trying to be a dick here. Like, I realize that may come off as terrible, but I don't yes, care. It does. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> let's be real here. Let's be real for a second. Okay, we're you're mentally we're gonna be handicapped. Real. We you're are a transformer. Real. We are sentient beings. We it's, are real. It's complicated to turn into a car. Okay, you got a combustion engine and AC. Maybe you got XM radio. I don't fucking know. There's a lot of moving parts. Maybe you're like five years old and, you know, you're a little, little slower. That's okay. Some people are. You can't help it. You're still a great person. Uh, you just Man, turn into a ball. You guys are great bullet shields. Come back. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. These vines. I should see them coming clearly because they, you do see you them know, coming. go very slowly. <laughs> what kind of robot sprouts vines? This one. Oh. <laughs> and, you know, in hindsight, that was a dumb question. <laughs> uh, in foresight, I just want to warn you, I'm going to get that rubber band I was talking about last episode and <laughs> whack you with it. Oh, dear. Damn it. i got to stop We're dodging all dead. onto the Revive, thing. damn it. Oh, man, we better uh, not die. I think we're going to die. We died. Guys, yeah. when you don't revive, it takes us longer to kill her and get a battery life. No, oh, it doesn't. To revive that doesn't make Fine. sense, Kelly. <laughs> <sighs> Hit me! <laughs> Man, so about that Star Wars, I am freaking pumped. Though. I'm definitely ready for Star Wars. I am so happy that J.J. Abrams is uh, going to direct it because I have a lot of faith in J.J. Abrams, and he's working on physical effects, which is what Star Wars should be. Like that was such a big problem in the old ones. Like no physical effects, uh, in terrible, terrible flat actors, and nobody gave a shit, and it was just bad. So hopefully yeah. this one won't be those things. I'm just really excited for the fact that he's using real props as opposed to a fucking blue screen the whole time. It's so cool George listening Lucas. to like, people talk about it and they're like, if you see a TIE fighter, there was a TIE fighter. Yep. If you see a ship, there was a ship. If you see a thing, the thing was there. Like The only things they CG'd were things they basically had to. Like I'm going to go out on a whim and say that when they're driving through the desert and the Imperial Starship is buried in the sand... Like, 50% chance that's probably CGI. But it might not be. They could have <laughs> done the uh, Lord of the Rings method, where they just have a super small scaled model. I just wonder how much money they're planning on making from the Star Wars franchise. A fuck ton. Well, you know, they spent $2 billion to buy it from George Lucas before they even started making movies. They spent $2 billion on it. That's enough. I mean, fuck. It's, yep. I, it doesn't surprise me. It is a lot of money, though. Um... But then, you know, then they gotta make the movies, put in the budget. I don't know. They're making all the side movies, too, though. And I think they're getting a giant thing at Universal or some shit like that. That or would Disney not surprise World, rather, me. Because it's owned by Disney. Right? Oh, well, I mean, there's Harry Potter World. Yep. I want to go to the cantina. God, yeah, I haven't been in Disney World God, since I was... Ah, uh, fun fact. I've never uh, been to Disney World. Well, I got lost. That sucks. <laughs> it was kid. actually really bad. Uh, I was my parents had an argument, so uh, I mean I was just kind of looking down because I was. I mean when my parents have bad arguments, they don't have it often. But when they do, they get really bad. So everyone's in a terrible mood. Oh yeah, I mean and so yeah, I'm that's just, just how it's gonna happen. Looking down at my feet, walking, and it's super busy, and it's uh, nighttime at this point. And I just oh. look up and fucking no one's there, and I'm just like, oh god. So then I run around in some stores. And just look around. I can't find anyone. How old are you? Like, fucking ten to oh, eight. Oh shit! Fuck. Yeah, no, I was young. This was second grade. I don't, I don't remember how old I was then, but obviously super young. And I just go back to the place I was, look around, and the next thing I know, I see my mom. 
And That's like, good. She's crying. My dad's looking everywhere, and they kill her, finally kill her, see kill her. me. Not your mom. Uh, so there the we boss. go. <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> we died. Duh! <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought we did it. So did I. Yeah, but uh, at the time, my sister was in an air cast, and the only so um, we got to skip all the rides. We didn't wait in a single. That's incredible. Day. Yeah. Because she was in a wheelchair, and the oh, only man, wheelchair Oh man, I should have put my sister in a wheelchair when we went to Disney World. So, right? <laughs> um, so the uh, the only wheelchair they had that day was like made for a super fat person. So it, my sister and I fit in there, and for the rest of the day, <laughs> they just wheeled me around in that chair. <laughs> That's incredible. It was actually pretty awesome. God, yeah. Besides the getting lost part and being terrified and eight years old. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, My Disney right. World experience was not like that at all. It was, uh, it was pretty awesome. I mean, every, everything else was great. Right. But, uh... It is a magical place. Yep. I went... I've been for, like, one day. I think I was slightly older, but I was still pretty young, which is perfect. Oh, we like, went for an entire week. I would have hated to have only ever been when I was, like, an angsty teenager. Yeah. That'd be kind of shitty. Right. I mean, you want to go when you're young enough to, like, be wowed by the magic or old enough to, like, appreciate the sentiment. Yeah. No, I've never been to Disney World. I, mean, I was young enough to like, you know, Sad. not like uh, uh, care too much about everything around me. I was just like, oh my god, everything's so awesome and all the fucking shit that's Look going at on. All it's this great. Wonder and merriment. Yep, that's what it was for me at that age. And it was pretty good. We have a uh, autistic person at McTurs that works with us, and he is obsessed with anything Disney. So if He's on his train of thought about Disney movies or anything Disney. He'll come up and talk to you about it, and then he'll uh, he'll even merge the uh, different Disney worlds together and ask like if uh, Simba knew the Beast from the Beauty and the Beast would they get along? It's huh. it's pretty it's pretty adorable and sometimes annoying when you're like working hard, but like. Like, I'm really trying to make these eight sandwiches that just came in. And I can't get mad at you for this, and we just died. Damn it. Uh, bad at this. You just have to, like, angrily be like, I am, like, 20 sandwiches deep. I am actively getting yelled at by someone over here on the side. And be like, damn it, dude, of course they would be friends. They both got <laughs> fur. They would love to talk about <laughs> grooming techniques together. Exactly, uh, though. But he loves talking about Disney. It's fucking great. I love working awesome. with that kid. He's a good-hearted soul. I've seen people piss him off before, and it's kind of sad to see some. I've, I've had people complain about him. Like a customer mm -hmm. asked him to do something, and he told the customer one second, "I'm doing something else really quick," and he was gonna go do it. But then the guy comes up to me and is like, "Excuse me, yeah, I have a complaint about the kid in the green shirt." Um, I'm like, do you? I I was like, oh yeah, okay. Well, what's what's the problem? He's like, well, I asked him to do something, and he didn't do it. I'm like, well, he is autistic, sir. Yeah, but well, he just he didn't he didn't do what I asked him to, and you know I'm at a place where customer service is, and it's like I understand that, sir, but he's autistic. I don't. I'm sorry that he didn't do what you asked him to do because he was probably doing something else, distracting himself. Sorry. Some people are just complete and utter shit. Yep. I mean, quite frankly, that should be a perfectly reasonable excuse, no matter. Whether you're autistic or just a normal person or, yep. uh, you know, whatever. Right? It should be, but it's not. Quite frankly, if you come up to me and I'm fucking busy at my job and I tell you to hold the fuck on, you just hold the fuck on. Battery. Yeah. Get the battery. Battery's dumb. Why would we get the battery in that only... Because that's why we've been dying this entire no, fucking time. No, Kelly. Been. It's because I died a lot, actually, on the last one. <laughs> I think I died, like, three times in a row in one phase. So You're awesome, damn it, hippie. That, that that destroyed a lot of our battery, and I really apologize. I kept getting hit by After the vines. After you've finally been found out and forced to admit, like why, why we died, you apologize. Well, I wasn't gonna like bring it up in the moment, man. Come on, revive, re fucking revive. So you know where I want to go? Disneyland. Uh, Harry well, Potter World. Harry Potter World. It sounds like a fun place to go. My girlfriend's been. I've you seen know, pictures of it, and it looks incredible. You know where it was really shitty? Universal Studios. You yeah, have heard that. Yeah, I mean, I have too. It was really cool because I mean, when we went with my senior class, we got there basically when the place opened. So uh, I mean, we got there before there was really any real lines. So we just rode a couple of the rides that we liked just over and over. Wow, this is some shit that's going on right now. Yes, We're on it last is. Last stage, we can do this shit. Well, we got this. Remember we got plenty of batteries. batteries. Don't yeah. die. Um, 
But once the people, once a ton of people got there, you had to wait for the lines, and then you did the ride, and you're like, no, that wasn't very good. There was no reason for me to wait for this. And then there weren't too many other real attractions. It's just a couple of decent rides. There weren't very many. And like, God damn! Fuck! I didn't think we were losing like that. Who was dying? I had died. Who was dying? It wasn't me. I think we all stayed alive. It's we did. We getting did. damaged we into her them. is hard because of all of the fucking flowers she's spawning and all the vines and shit. There's just yeah, there's just well, so much shit in the way. Another hilarious part about that day is we uh, all had tickets, right, from the school. They were for the day after. Huh? They got the day wrong. So Save the it battery. took them like half an hour or we're losing it immediately. But we could use it for later purposes. It goes away. I think. Oh, it does. Sure oh, I didn't know they go so away. Like, it's got a bar right there. And it didn't even fill up our battery all the way. Yeah, it yeah that's It's true. not like a full thing. It's just a oh. plus battery. I'm anyway, sure. Anyways. The Anyways, tickets for yeah. the next day. Yeah, they they oh, didn't have the tickets for the right day, so they just it took them about an hour and a half to get wow. somebody from like management to come out and uh, just say, all right, whoever's got these tickets will accept them. Uh, but I'm surprised that it A took so long, fucker. and B that they fucking made that giant ass mistake in the first place. Right. That reminds me of when we went camping at uh, Lake Kincaid in northern Kentucky, and we got there, and they were like, "Well, you have a second reservation, yeah, but it doesn't come in till tomorrow. You have one for Friday and Saturday, and one for Saturday and Sunday and a Monday morning." And I was like, "Why would I book these two separate things like that?" I'm like, "Well, I'm here, you know, whatever. That was a mistake." Um, uh, clearly, I need both campsites right now. And they were like, oh, well, that's going to be a problem. I'm like, oh, is it already rented? They're like, no, it's not rented. And what's the problem? Right? And they're like, well, we're going to be like, well, you booked this on the wrong day, so you're going to you're gonna get charged for that. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Wow. <laughs> and then uh. we spent 15 minutes there waiting on the park ranger to come by and approve the day change. And the entire time, they just kept lecturing me about it. How it was clearly my fault that I booked it on the wrong day, and there was no way that they could have made an error. Clearly. Right. I was just like, fuck you guys. I and need to change to a long range character. character because yeah, I would like to change characters. And as well. that, that weekend was just sh shit all around. Lake Kincaid sucked. Right. I mean, they wouldn't let you fucking swim. You could only think... fish. It's like, what the hell? I mean, it's a huge lake. Why can we not swim? Right. I don't think that weekend was shit. I think that that campground well, was yeah, no, utter shit, though. The weekend wasn't shit, the, but the campgrounds, that that was ridiculous. I mean, they complained about us being too loud. We might have been. I don't know. They complained about us being out of our campsite, but we were at the end of the road in the next campsite. The next people camping was like five campsites up the road. Yeah, uh, shit, I was this the else. camping trip you guys went to recently? Yeah. No, not recently. No. Uh, were you there? I don't think so. Oh, the one with the uh, boat. No, yeah, that no, wasn't you there. there. Yeah, right. we rented a boat. This was the saddest boat you've ever seen, oh audience. Oh my god. Uh, it like, was pontoon, and it had like an eight horse motor outboard, and this thing could not get out of its own way. Plus, before we got there, Pretty sure we were told it could hold like ten people. Then we get there, and they're like, oh, well, it can hold eight people, according to one of the guys at the campground. Then we go to the rent it from the boat rental place, and they're like, six people maximum, and even with six people, we were, like, sinking in the water. Yeah, it was, wow. it was really difficult. That's like, fucking awful. Yeah, if we had too many people Best on Best boat one in the end, world. Just, yeah, no, it was awful. <laughs> there were people in a John boat who were literally doing circles around us. Yeah, we, we, we got two boats because we couldn't hold enough, so we were like, all right, we'll get this one in a John boat. And also, this was the only pontoon boat they had that was working. Yeah, out of five boats, and like it was five what? five or four. Late July, and there were still leaves from the previous fall on the boat. Yeah. So it's like, like, man, this place is just shit. So Janky. yeah, so what we did was uh, drove the boat back to next to our campsite because we were camping right next to the lake and got all our alcohol and swam and <laughs> did whatever the fuck we wanted and screwed the rules because we're rebels without a cause. And that place was freaking retarded. Right, yeah. They were also assholes to us the entire time. Yeah. They threatened to kick us out the first night, like Kelly said, because we were out of our campsite and making noise, but... There were drunk people making far more noise and being far more obnoxious say, up the road like from us. Four people on our four groups on our stretch, and one of them was huge, with like a camper on it, taking up four lots, and they were loud as fuck, all drunk off Bud Light. 
It's like, my God. What the hell did you guys do wrong, apparently? Uh, oh, shit. Battery, 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 with battery. Our, uh, terrible, terrible check in process. Yeah. We got the battery. Someone. Somebody we're dead. Got it. Okay, good. Cool. Why not? No, we got this. Yeah, we, we got, got this. this. It's the last one. Remember, secondaries. Oh, I'm trying. Not to die while using my secondary. Just a little more. Just a little got fuck. it. We got it. I fucking died. We got it. We, we got, got it. this. We, we got, got this. We, we got, got this. We got this. We got this. Why is she not dead? Because we're not all alive. Oh my god! I don't she understand why she wasn't left. dead. She had a sliver left. I did not see health for like a long time. We're close. Don't Damn die. it! Don't <laughs> don't throw it all away, guys. Okay, there's a few pictures. There it is! Yeah. Woo -hoo. Go, go, Power Rangers. I don't have much of a green thumb, but I think I did a pretty good job pruning. I'm done. Nope. Wow. That was that it. Fucking wow. wow. That's it. <laughs> that was, yeah, throwing in the towel. That was fucking terrible. That's been an episode, though. Uh, that was that was definitely an episode. It definitely was an episode. I've been Wigwam. I've been Hippie. And I've been Kelly. And I had a kick-ass amazing chain, and I am way better than you guys. Wow, fuck you. Congratulations. Who's Starch? We had to die a lot. I was... Oh, yeah, I did die a bunch. Ha! Ooh. Aberdeen! That one song that's not by Cage the Elephant. Oh, I was thinking of the one that was by Cage the Elephant. Right. You'll have to show me that song when we take this break right now. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Wigwam. And I've been Hippie. And I've been Kelly. Again. And this has been Super Android Assault Aberdeen Lemon Cactus. That's it. We got it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.